Hello everyone, welcome to episode 22 of Microtech Canada's online MTCNA tutorials. In this session, we'll review the backup feature in Router OS. We'll be discussing the simple procedures of using the backup feature and mentioning a few important tips that you need to observe when creating and using backup files. By clicking on the Files menu, you can access the backup feature. In the Files tab, you have the backup command. When creating a backup file, you'll need to specify the name, password, and encryption type of that file. If you do not set a password, the same login password of the user who is creating the file will be used for this backup file. And if you do not specify a name, a default name comprised of the router identity and the backup date and time will be given to your file. In case you're not creating a backup of sensitive data and do not wish to encrypt your file with a secure password, make sure that you check the Don't Encrypt option. To restore a backup, if you do not have any files here, you'll first need to upload your backup file. Simply click on the Upload command and select your desired file. You can also use drag and drop for this purpose. Once you see your backup file here, click on Restore. After selecting your backup file from the list and inputting the password, click on Restore. At this point, the router will ask for your confirmation to reboot the device and restore your backup. The Cloud Backup tab is a very useful feature recently added by Microtik. This feature gives you access to a cloud server that Microtik has allocated for its products. This means that each Microtik router has a specific cloud storage on Microtik servers where you can safely keep your backup files and access them when needed. If you wish, you can also use new terminal for creating backup files. By typing system and then backup, you will access the backup menu. Here, you have the three options of cloud, load, and save. To create a backup file, use the save command. Here, you can choose whether to encrypt your backup and then select a name and a password. If you do not choose any of these options and click enter, a similar backup file just like the one we created at the beginning will be produced. Before we go, there are two basic but very important points that you must know. Number one, never keep your backup files on your router permanently. Important backup files should be stored safely on your PC or other types of external storage. And number two, since routers are vastly different in terms of their ports, features, and so on, when restoring a backup file, make sure you're using the same device on which you created your backup. Alternatively, if your router is no longer available, for the backup to work properly, you need to use a device identical to your previous router. Thank you for watching everyone, stay tuned for future episodes and let us know your questions in the comments section. Take care.